Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Well, we've made it 31 days into 2023. So as we wrap up the month of January, as expected, as we've been detailing for you leading up to this point, it's been a warmer than average month. In fact, the third warmest on record. And for the Hartford area, the records date back to 1905. Snow, a measly 2.3 inches. That uh, makes January of 23 the 12th least snowy on record. And uh, total precipitation, that includes the liquid equivalent of anything frozen and all the rain that we've had, 5.81 inches, a tie for 10th wettest. And we go a little bit farther back in time, of course, it's been a lackluster season uh, altogether for snow, uh, shy of 10 inches for the Hartford area, not even reaching the one inch mark for Bridgeport. The deficits continue to grow and they will continue to do so with no major storms on the horizon, despite this Arctic blast coming uh, later this week. Right now, looking live from Waterbury, a beautiful scene with some, some scattered mid and high level clouds out there, a 30 in the Brass City and looking live along the shoreline from Old Saybrook, uh, a nice evening evening underway there as well. So temperatures today, of course, a little bit cooler than yesterday, but uh, still a little bit above average. Currently here in the five o'clock hour, we're in the mid and upper 20s in the Northwest Hills, 34 Hartford, 37 New Haven, also 37 currently in Groton. So uh, while we have seen some clearing today, clouds are not far from us. And you can see, say, south of Long Island, we do have uh, some, some showers, rain showers working from west to east. Basically, we've got the stalled frontal boundary that's just offshore. Wave of low pressure is going to ride along that and come close enough later on tonight to perhaps produce some scattered snow showers here across Connecticut. Nothing too impactful, uh, but enough to where the snow comes down could provide a little bit of a coating to make things slick by early tomorrow morning on untreated surfaces. So while initially clear this evening, cloud cover thickens and lowers this evening, uh, stopping the clock at around 3 a.m. You'll see uh, those shades of blue along and say southeast of I-84. And this is fairly quick moving. Uh, it's going to be out of here as we head toward daybreak with clearing taking place thereafter. So with regard to Again, any sort of uh, snowfall accumulation looking at maybe a coating really confined to coastal and southeastern parts of our state. Uh, so highs tomorrow with increasing sunshine like we saw today, uh, topping out in the low and mid 30s and led mid 30s along the 95 corridor. So uh, pretty close to what's considered typical or average for the first day of February. Otherwise, the Arctic air that we've been talking about, that's going to be arriving as we head into Thursday night and Friday with the cold air, also a gusty wind driving wind chill values. Uh, as we head Friday night into early Saturday morning, well below zero. But look how quickly this moves out. By Sunday, temperatures not only back above freezing, but perhaps as high as the 40 degree mark. So the big story Friday, the cold, the wind, the temperatures drop as the day moves forward. The worst Friday night, Saturday morning. And then look at that rebound. It doesn't stop Sunday. We're back uh, into the mid 40s by Monday, perhaps even close to 50 by next Tuesday. With regard to records for this upcoming weekend, the ones that are most likely in jeopardy, Bridgeport, five degree lower forecasting temperatures in Europe, not below zero. The one for the Hartford area uh, could be close. With regard to coldest high temperature, that's somewhat questionable right now because temperatures may actually rise a bit as we head into Saturday night. But again, one more look at what we're going to be waking up to Saturday morning. Wind chill values 15 to 30 degrees below zero. Again, the weekend also now featuring dry weather with a mix of sun and clouds on Sunday.